Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're messing with the blend, daily edition style. You're watching Cigars Daily. Hey, get more out of this video when you join the community on Cigars Daily Plus. I'm starting this video with the sincere hope that my mother does not see it. Certainly came as a surprise to me when my mom told me she tunes into the channel from time to time, but I want to tell you a story that I think might hurt her feelings, so if you know her, dear God, don't tell her about it. But I want to tell you about a recipe that my mom had when I was very young, because that is really what these premium cigars are about. They are a recipe, and this story perfectly illustrates it, even though it kind of throws my mom under the bus. As I was a kid, my mom didn't do a whole lot of cooking, but every year she made one thing that has become my favorite thing to eat in the world. We call them cinnamon pull-aparts, which was our family's way of basically saying monkey bread. It's butter and cinnamon on a roll, undercooked in an oven until it's just tasty, sugary, gooey goodness. My mom made it every year on my birthday and on Christmas. And when I married my wife, The Wrench, she started working on making cinnamon pull-aparts for me. She knew this was an important tradition to me on my birthday and on Christmas. The problem is, over the years, Allison messed with the recipe. She changed certain things about it. The way Allison does the cinnamon pull-aparts is totally different than the way my mom did it. And, and it's better... She does a sensational job of making these things. And not only is Allison's recipe a little different in a way that improves the pull apart so that they're sweeter and gooier and more buttery and so good, but she also substituted out regular white sugar for coconut sugar, which doesn't give me as much of a sugar spike so I can eat more of them without going into a diabetic coma. It's a magical thing and I absolutely love it. Now Allison makes the pull aparts more than my birthday and Christmas and by God, I'm so thankful for it. It's it's like my cheat meal of the year. But that is exactly what you get when you make small changes to a recipe. Most of us know people in our families who are like, a, can take one recipe and make it good. And there's usually one person that's like, the cook in the family can make things taste way better than just about anyone else. And so we trust that person to do the cooking. And that's really what the most recent daily edition project is all about tweaking the recipe to take it and make it just a little bit brighter, a little bit more robust, vivid flavors, and give a little bit more to a blend that's already very popular and good. So this is Agonors's La Validacion. This is what they come up with when they talk about validating cigars, which my God, they love to do over there at Agonorsa. In fact, Terrence Riley validated these before he sent them to me. I literally got a package that had cigars missing from it and in his handwriting it just said missing some cigars. So thanks Terrence Riley, appreciate that a whole lot. But here we've got the Agonorsa Validacion Connecticut and the Agonorsa Validacion Corojo. Now there's two other blends. They did make a Habano, they did make a Maduro, but these were the two blends they made in a box pressed Vitola. And that is something that I find kind of interesting. Why, when you make a whole line of cigars, four different wrapper leaves, would you make two of them box pressed and two of them not? Truly, maybe the blender sat down and said, oh, box pressing these has made them the best versions of themselves. That's certainly a possibility. But there's a couple of issues I saw with these, and that's the reason that I came after these two blends for the daily edition version of La Validacion. The first thing is that they're box pressed, and there are just people out there that don't like box pressed cigars. Now, that's not me personally. I like box pressed cigars, but I've met plenty of people who are just like, don't like it. Apparently, they think it's a square peg in a round hole. And that sort of makes sense, I guess. It's a weird way to put it. But certainly, as I looked at the La Validacion and how to take these and make them a little bit more robust, I talked with Terrence Riley about making these two blends in round shapes. This is something that attacks a couple of things about premium cigars, and this really outlines what this project is about and why I'm so excited about it. It certainly isn't a brand new idea to take a box press blend and make it round. Lots of cigar makers are doing that out there, but there's something actually very unique about Agonorsa that makes this not just another round to box pressed variation. You see, 
the big argument in the cigar world and the cigar nerds are going to get lit up about this. Might even see some comments down below from, from a troll or two. And this, this comment people make, the cigar snobs, the nerds, you guys say this. A cigar gets 80% of its flavor from the wrapper leaf. Well, that is... That's obscene. That's obnoxious. What a weird statement to make. First of all, there's no way to quantify how much of a cigar's flavor comes from the wrapper leaf because there's no percentage, like measure for percentage of flavor anywhere in a cigar. I've often said on this channel that a cigar can get the character of its flavor from the wrapper leaf, but even that isn't true all the time. You see, it depends on how the cigar is blended. It depends on the recipe. A lot of manufacturers make cigars and blend it in such a way that the wrapper does add that character of flavor, but not all of them. Aganorsa is one that's famous for this. If you ever listen to Terrence Riley, he'll first thing he'll tell you is it's the greatest day of his life. Then he's going to go on to tell you about Aganorsa's world famous Corojo and Criollo leaves. These are two leaves that they use in a lot of their blends, but they're often not used as the wrapper leaf. These are leaves they use in the binder and the filler leaves to create character, balance, and flavor in their cigars. Truthfully, Aganorsa is one brand that blends their cigars for binder and filler flavor influence. And so one of the reasons I wanted to go after this project with Aganorsa is because, first of all, you go look at some of these other cigar brands where they take the, the, the box press and they make it round, or they take the round and they make it box pressed, and that more or less may make some of a difference, a, a little, a minuscule difference, if that blend uses the wrapper leaf to get the character of its flavor. Knowing that Aganorsa blends for binder and filler, there's a lot more opportunity to play with the ingredients, tweak the recipe, and make big, big changes. So obviously there's a big appeal here for the fact that Aganorsa blends for the in innards of the cigar, for the guts of the thing. And this is where I saw the chance to take a little change and make a big impact on the blend. By taking the Box Press Connecticut and the Box Press Corojo in the La Valadacion line and turning them round, we effectively increased the filler volume without increasing the wrapper ratio on the cigar. So you get the same amount of wrapper on the cigar, but you're growing the filler. And being that this is a blend that utilizes filler to create flavor, that actually changes the body and volume of flavor in this cigar. The goal here wasn't to create an entirely new flavor profile or an entirely new blend, rather to take an existing blend and see if we could tweak it to make it a little better. In the same way that my wife's cinnamon pull-aparts are the same basic recipe with very similar ingredients, she took them and made them into a dessert that I look forward to probably four or five times a year now, if I'm being completely honest with you. Now, the daily edition La Valadaciones are stuck with more of that leaf that Aganorsa fans have come to absolutely covet. And I I, I don't want to get Terrence Riley in trouble. I really don't. But I'm going to say what he told me on the phone. And I think this probably, he probably get yelled at by someone. But he, I was talking to him on the phone about this the other day after he pilfered some of these from my order of these daily editions. And uh, he said, he's like, you know, I went through them. He's like, I really do feel like we've got a project here where, where there's more body coming out of these cigars and this more brighter flavor. It's like the, a better expression of the profile than what you find in the box press cigar. So this is something that gives me the chance to shed a whole new light on a blend that people have already come to know and trust a lot. I think what they've done with the leaf has been really exceptional and this is a way to take it and make it just a little bit more exceptional and that is something that has been a real privilege. When I started doing daily edition projects like these guys, I promised that we were going to create projects that, that created new blends, that put out limited edition projects and that took an existing blend and tweaked them a little bit to make them better. And this is the first one in the daily edition series that does exactly that. La Valadacion has got a whole new lease on their Connecticut and Corojo blends. And these are two that I've been lighting up over, just they came in yesterday. My God, I barely smoked anything other than these two cigars. So I'm very excited to present these now and tell you guys that I feel like Terrence and the team hit the nail on the head putting these together and the goal of just taking that ingredients, taking that same blend and changing the recipe a little bit to give us a little bit more flavor has come with overwhelming results. 
but mostly I'm curious to hear from you guys. If anyone's had the La Validacion daily editions, put a comment down below and let me know what you think about it because these are fascinating, fascinating blends, at least to me, but I know there's a lot of Aganorsa fans out there and y'all got your own opinions too. So drop them down below and of course, check this video out on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. I wanna thank you all so much for joining me here. This is Tim, signing off for Cigars Daily and I'm off to make a bunch more of these daily edition projects because they take a long time to get done, but they sure are fun. All right, I'll see you all in the comments.